Howard University is swiftly implementing changes, including terminating members of its security team and hosting a virtual town hall after recent violence near campus. Back-to-back -back incidents took place over the weekend, one near a residence hall. Tisha Lewis joins us from Northwest D.C. Uh, Tisha, the video you're about to show us, it's disturbing, uh, but uh, obviously a very, very important issue to talk about. Well, it is an important issue. The administration here at Howard University calling the back-to-back -back violence disgusting. The victim's family describing it as devastating. It prompted a town hall, a virtual town hall, meeting to discuss safety questions and concerns about safety on and around campus. Now, the most recent incident happened right here at Howard Plaza Towers Monday morning. In fact, Howard University President Wayne Frederick cut his travel short and returned this morning to address the issue, saying it's a first priority. We're told the fight lasted two and a half minutes and administration insisted area teenagers, not Howard University students, were the aggressors. Later in the weekend, the same group went back to Banneker Field. Uh, they were once again removed by MPD. There was one juvenile arrested with a handgun and a group of 30 to 60 juveniles, city juveniles, went right down the street, recording everything along the way on social media, where a melee, a fight broke out in front of the towers. Howard University's chief of police, Marcus Lyles, goes on to say he's launched an internal investigation looking into the communication between students and law enforcement and the aftermath of the brawl that was posted online. Lyles says communication reporting the incident was late, even so resources were minutes away. There are two incidents under investigation. Sunday morning near a residence hall and Monday morning at Howard Plaza Towers. A victim was reportedly assaulted, stabbed, and robbed by two suspects who stole keys, an iPhone, and a pair of air Jordans. It is unacceptable that a Howard University Department of Public Safety officer would tell any student on this campus, whether close to the campus or on our campus within our jurisdiction, that there's nothing that they can do. That's not the type of police force that we train. That's not the type of police force that we expect um, to operate within our campus, and it's unacceptable. So that person will be removed from the campus. There is no if, ands, or buts about it. And that has already happened. As you just heard, we're told a lieutenant was removed and also a security contractor was relieved of their duties immediately, effective immediately due to their response or lack of from this situation. Also, we're told a safe path is being implemented for students to take this safe path when they are out and about their security every couple hundred feet. Also, students are being warned to be vigilant.